I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. It's time to scream sanity, people, because it happened. Over at True Social, the right-wing Orwellian hell site that seems to be the flint strike on the bonfire that is ignorance and hate in America. It's like if the KKK was smart enough to build an app. Oh, but it is hard to code through a hood. Well, this weekend, some monster truck season ticket holder, Truth Civil War, and Sweet Potato Hitler retruthed it. That's right. A former president of the United States who already planned and executed a coup, 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 on January 6th, just casually hit send on civil war. Feels a little treasonous, doesn't it? Now, to be clear, Trump is still saying the election was stolen and that there were millions of fake votes. But after an extensive investigation by the top notch cyber ninjas, they actually found more votes for Biden. <laughs> and then the deep dive into the Reynolds rap chapeau wearing conspiracies that can only come from an ex crack addict that sells pillows. Then after Bill Barr, Chris Krebs, Brian Kemp, Mike Pence and the governor of Arizona all said there was no voter fraud. Well, except for Trump's chief of staff, Mark Meadows. <laughs> Fat, ignorant Orrin still claims election fraud. And he knows claiming it works because I love the poorly educated. And now he's calling for civil war because he lost, you snowflake. He lost by 8 million votes. And the first civil wars fought over slavery and the fear that the southern landowners were going to lose their free labor. I know, I know. It wasn't free, slave owners. You had to feed the slaves and you had to house the slaves. And just the expenses and whips and hobbling alone made business expenses outrageous. But they were a write-off. But the North thought people should be treated as people, not cattle. I get a war over that. One side wanted to enslave their fellow man. The other wanted all men to be free, created equal. You know, like the slave owners wrote in the Constitution. But what's your inbred gun humper justification for a civil war in 2022? Because you had to wear a piece of fabric over your face to help your fellow countrymen? Because thinking of trans people makes you feel funny? Because you can't stand two people of the same sex being in love? And why are you thinking about that anyway, huh? Or is it because you want to use the N-word and don't want to get drug on Twitter for it? Free speech! Civil war? What the fuck are you talking about? I can tell you right now, if they steal the election, all bets are off. How about civil war? Let's go for it. Since Trump left, the economy is growing at 6%. Wages are up 5%. Unemployment is at 3.6%. Infrastructure's passed. The most qualified SCOTUS nominee in decades is on the Supreme Court. The economy is growing so fast after sweet potato Hitler killed it and 500,000 people by screwing the COVID pooch that inflation is high because people have jobs and money again. Also, Trump made a deal with Saudi to cut our oil supply during COVID. And that deal lasts until April 30th. The Saudis have refused to increase output. <laughs> Hmm. I wonder if we should refuse to send the Saudis weapons. <laughs> should I stay or should I go now? Anyway, so the economy's booming, but not perfect. 70% are vaccinated. There was no voter fraud. Everyone has jobs. Adults are in charge. And we don't have an insane moron with his hands on the lever of power who thinks the Continental Army took the airports. If you want civil war now, especially after the daily clown show of the last five years, you're probably sitting in your own feces, gnawing on your own foot, eating boogers. And then I have five words for you. Person, woman, man, camera, TV. Because you're a stable genius. I'm Christopher Titus. And this is the Armageddon Update. God damn, I'm so fucking tired, stupid people. Hey everybody, Christopher Titus, Titus Podcast. How are you doing? Welcome to the show where we scream sanity. With me as always, the lovely Bombshell Ray. What's up, people? And the lovelier Highlander. There can be only one. <laughs> oh, he's good. You never pay attention to I did a little, looked at it, I saw it. I saw the whoop. I, did, I was always, looking away in peripheral. Yeah, mm -hmm. Civil war. Musician there. Yeah. You, you're, you're more of a soliloquy. Yeah, yeah, I need, I'm, I'm, I take a solo, I, I solo until they shut, until they unplug me. That's what I, I solo. <laughs> you would just be on the drums, civil war and <laughs> getting uh, shot. And so if you saw the Armageddon update, uh, this one was about uh, Trump. So this over the weekend on Truth Social, someone tweeted civil war. Trump, the ex-president of the United States, retweeted it. What was it? Just like people. this happened? Was no, it just it was a like, fact? Wait, it was like, yeah, there was, is there Truth was like Social a, his thing? Truth Social is the one that was a failure. But yeah. they're not called tweets, right? They're called truths. Oh, so some someone truth. They truth it, then he retruthed it. Oh, 
Ah, okay. <laughs> Interesting. It's the most Orwellian. Like, why <laughs> even why even nut up and name it that? For a dude that's told 33,000 lies in four years and lied about everything that he ever said, yeah. to have the balls, to have the Orwellian ball, totally. to call it true Well, that's what they social. always do. They always say the opposite of what they're doing. You guys doing. are pedophiles. Uh, to today, uh, three GOP were arrested and <laughs> indicted for pedophile. Uh, Matt Gates is- a dis- Even today, it came out, I was listening on the way here- um, Benman's brother, the twin brother, Yevgeny. Right. Uh, it the IG report has now been released about the retaliatory efforts yeah. on Trump's part once once he was not removed from office from that impeachment. Mm-hmm. What he did to Venman's brother because Venman testified against him. Yeah. So it's he pretty went crazy. The whole family. Pe- military people that gave a life of service, and we're and we're and literally over there trying to make sure that Zelensky. Part of the reason that Zelensky became this democratic and the country kind of switched democratic and stopped being so corrupt was because we were over there trying to help them. Um, so it's amazing to me. So anyway, civil war. So <laughs> here's the thing. No, but here's why. So I, I tweeted about it yesterday. Um, yes. I, 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 I didn't truth that I tweeted. Mm-hmm. How uh, do you know someone truthed it? Did someone tweet the truth? Is there a conversion uh, yes. rate for that? There's no, like there, a- was, there was a there was a Patriot. There, there's a site called Patriot Takes that sends in like the crazy the craziest shit from. It okay. used to be Parlor, now mm-hmm. it's True Social. Mm-hmm. They will put the craziest shit we've ever seen on Twitter, so we don't get uh, calm or or complacent in our response to holy fuck, this is crazy. So it sends it. So I I kind of retweeted. I said to you people who think I don't know what you think is going to happen that that people are just going to stand by, but this is not going to go how you think it is. And somebody goes, and some guy hits me back. Yeah, well, so what, man? Bring it on then. We got to do it. It's time to take down the government oh. and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, come on. Didn't they try to do that on uh, January? What was the day? January. Well, January. Uh, January. The scent was near. I, I was still hung over from New Year's Eve, so mm-hmm. I don't remember. Mm-hmm. I you probably I never, were. I'll never forget that day watching. And watching, we, we stayed home that day. I remember just as it unfolded, January 6th unfolded. Was there like, was like a Confederate reenactment or something on the steps or something <laughs> like LARPing. that? They were yeah, LARPing. They were LARPing. They were LARPing. They were really, it, it was, yes. It was my really, cousin, there was gallows. My cousin, and, my niece, who is a 19 year old Marine, uh, she was at the house last weekend and she had that same sentiment that why are they all LARPing as military people? Why don't they just join, join the, the military. military? There you go. And then do you, something. Right, because then you're then you're all that freedom shit you talk and all that uh, patriotism and all the flag. Yeah. Right? Like there was a guy yesterday that gave Mastriano, the guy who's running for mm, Senate, yes. who said that he's gonna he said he's gonna actually put in a secretary of state that will pick his own elector so he can decide who wins that state. Said it out loud. Said it out loud. <laughs> said it out, no, he said because You're holding up this that, microphone. You're that's <laughs> why you should vote for him. Hey, you people, if you guys want a cheater who fucks everybody over, I'm the guy. They still think the technology we have is from the Civil War. I just so think they can't that. be recorded. So he grabs a so a guy in a full American flag shirt and hat hands him a, a broadsword about this long, and then he says, uh, "Bring me Goliath." And I, I'm just like, "What? What?" Which happened? you were, if he was offended at first, because he was like, "What an idiot!" David had a slingshot. Goliath had a sword. Stupid ass. And then she goes, "Yeah, well, he took all that sword and cut off Goliath's head." I'm like, "All right, I'll let that go." He did say that. <laughs> you were like, "Okay, you can remove Learn that from the list." Yeah. yeah. If you're gonna if you're gonna out Bible me, which is not hard. No. <laughs> It's not. It's not hard to out Bible me at all. No. Nope. Um, In but, many ways. Uh, ouch. I am a Ooh. very good, nice ah. pretty. Mm. So, you are a little Old Testament. I will. I'll give you that. I, okay. I do. I know enough <laughs> to get by. Mixed with highlights. Speaking <laughs> of that too, how crazy is the world getting? Um, uh, Locke, uh, Greg Locke, this preacher, mm. said that if you're Democrat, you- wait, was that who you were playing? It was yeah, Greg Locke. Was Greg oh, Locke. that guy, he's such an idiot. Well, I was offended lost, by what you so, played. So Let's here's say. what happened. He said, he goes, if you're a Democrat, you're a demon, and you, if you vote, if you vote a Democrat, you're a demon, and you can't be in this church. You're not a Christian. If he you said vote you're in, not oh. a Christian. If you, you vote, cannot be a Christian and if, a Democrat at the same time. If you said. call yourself a Democrat. Oh. You cannot be a Christian. And he said, the Democrats can eat my dirty socks, is what he said. Kevin Bennett. And he's screaming. He's screaming and bouncing. I, I, I turned the sound off and it looks like a Jerry Lewis movie. I I'm so confused by this whole, you know, Democrat, you can't be a Christian thing. I mean, for obvious reasons, I'm confused by that. Mm-hmm. But also, you know, it just seems to me that there were a lot of things in the Bible 
the, you know, especially about how we treat others. It's and, mostly right. democratic. And yeah, being yeah, yeah. charitable <laughs> and kind <laughs> right. and things like that, that they seem to be yeah, missing. So, so. so let's go over a Democrat stand for everybody being included. Mm -hmm. uh, no one's rights uh, taken away for no reason. Everybody being accepted. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, help the, this to is Democrats. Be, yes. Befriend the stranger. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, immigration, whatever. Befriend mm -hmm. the stranger. Uh, love thy neighbor. Love thy neighbor. Uh, help your fellow man. And the people who claim the Bible and Christians, uh, at least at Greg Locke's level, are, are claiming that, uh, no, we need to take the government over and blah, blah. They, they do they, none of that. Oh, he said that in the, in the, by, he said that in the Bible, it says, uh, take it by force. No, I, that was, I was like, what? I don't no, remember I, that part of the Bible. I, Again, I don't want to be out Bibled, but I'm just saying, I'm pretty sure there's not a point where he says, burn down the government. I, yeah, I, I did notice that unlike most preachers throughout that whole rant, he never made a biblical reference, say a chapter and a verse of a mm -hmm. specific book. Right. It was never just in anything. the Bible, ah. you know, that short little book where you could just flip and find the keyword. Right. Um, yeah, that's why I said one of my acts. If only it was a book we could go to to find out what really, what, what God or Jesus really meant. Um, Obey your leaders and submit to them since they keep watch over your souls as those who will give an account so that they can do this with joy and not with grief. <laughs> so it doesn't say that. I mean, there's a hundred Bible verses about And they're all numbered. Those. You can just like search them by like, <laughs> let the every Dewey person, Decimal System. Yeah, yeah, so let every person be subject to the governing authorities. Be subject to the governing authorities. It doesn't say take it by force. You shall not revile God nor curse a ruler of your people. You're in trouble with Trump. I might be too. So what is, <laughs> what is his justification? But I'm forgiven. Didn't he back it up with anything? In no. the Bible. He just screamed. That's it. He just started it's with that. It's in there somewhere. Okay. Don't look it up. Yeah. Don't, Stop yeah, asking questions. Don't know the, <laughs> it's in there. Don't look it up. We don't. It's like my guy on the cross yeah. in my first, but yeah. don't look it up. We don't like people to read because they get dangerous when they read. People are dangerous we when they like read. That. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, honor the emperor. Um, wow. It goes on and on and on and on and on. So Greg, so here's what happened. Okay. A bunch of people complained. Uh, someone called the FBI and someone else on call, him? called the IRS. Yes. Okay. They made a formal complaint to the FBI and the IRS. Greg Locke had to get a lawyer and is currently uh, losing his uh, 501, uh, 301, C, 501c3. C3 status. He's no, he, his church can no, is no longer. What would be the basis for that? Is, what do you mean is currently losing? Because, because, Chep, because if you are a church that stands for politi politics in any way, you actually stop being, um, you can't. You, so what do you mean is currently losing? Was it announced he's an that he's, he's losing or there, he's going to fight that He now? announced it. He actually came on and he said, I got a lawyer. He goes, we are not going to be, and we're going to lose our 5013 status. And I want, I want to lose it because I want to be able to say what I want to up here. And write it off. So he can't write it off now. No, that's he, what he wants to. No, he can't. He had be, he could he before. Wants to, though, there yes. was no that's taxes. He's now going to be taxed. Yeah, he's but saying he he's he, agreeing with you. Yeah, <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Did I miss something? Yes. I mean, I, In the Bible, <laughs> they say. <laughs> so civil war uh, is going to happen. This guy's this guy. We have preachers. No, it's not going to. No, it's not going it. to. Preach. We have preachers. Uh, and the, the thing is, the people are whooping and hollering, and I'm like, wow, whooping. you guys. Whoop. They're hooping and hollering. Hooping and hollering. Whenever I hear Southern people, uh, woo, that's that's hooping and hollering. There is some whooping and <laughs> yeah, hollering. There, yeah, there were. Especially when Freebird starts the first. <laughs> <laughs> well, now Kid Rock, yeah. oh, And then everyone's like, yeah, yeah. a lot of whooping and um, hollering. Yeah. Oh, so, look, you've woken someone up. Oh, it's all right, buddy. Hi. So what's going to happen as now? So Trump's okay. That people are like on that. And I, and my, my thing is this, listen, if the country was on fire, things weren't working and they weren't working for a while. We killed 500,000 people. Now we're at a million. No one handled COVID. He told us to inject disinfectant, uh, all this shit when there should have been that. And, and the George Floyd thing, there kind of was a little bit of like some mm -hmm. serious ragged edge protest that could have turned into a civil war. I, I see that. But now, like, why now? Because gas prices are high. Because Saudi yeah. won't produce. Is, is it, well, like, why I do now? know that you know they're angry. I'm hearing that a lot. About and, what? Um, that's what I. That's what I'm asking. Everything, inflation. They can't afford. And by they, I, I'm specifically talking about everybody, the Republicans that are mad. But it is everyone is having right? this problem, and we know why. In, in We've the already world. covered that. It, but especially, well, yes, in the world, but especially. We haven't really covered it because people wouldn't be up, wouldn't be stupid about it if we'd covered it. No, I mean we covered it last week. And right. What? Why there's inflation and huh. stuff like mm -hmm. that. But um, 
Also, there's monkeypox now. Just wanted to throw that out there. Got a couple <laughs> cases in America. Three cases of monkeypox. Three. Three, I think, I think we're four. Yeah. One was in Florida. It was like, Florida, of course. New York. Yeah, Florida. I was like, that's where monkeypox So goes people to. are mad about gas prices. They're mad right. about how cost of food and everything, cost of living has gone up, you know, considerably. Rents are going up. There's a lack of availability of affordable housing. Homelessness is on the rise everywhere. Crime, you know, it's it's a lot going on and so everyone is now pointing to the guy that's been there for a year 15 months yeah <laughs> so what will never fix that thinking War. what got right. us here and i'm not just saying trump i'm saying you know there are some things that take a minute and also if you have a pandemic and the whole world shuts down there is going to be a supply well, chain well when, when no one was at work and you can't produce goods the second we got we all got so everyone went back to work we all had money and we needed shit because we hadn't had shit for two years and there's no shit because they couldn't make shit for two years you know what it, i get it, tired of though is that it's and democrats do it too is that when anything goes wrong everyone just sits on the sidelines and goes look at what an asshole trump is or look at what an asshole biden is i mean trump was an asshole but nobody's like oh we should come together and help each other right. and fix this and how can we make this stop and you did you were actually the first thing you offered was if you need baby formula email me we'll see what we can find here in la and send it to you i had baby formula but on this... hold in panorama city and then the lady emailed me back and said they found it what you just said though is entirely the reason why I brought this up. What are you talking about civil war? So you want to actually be like, so we're so because of this, this six time bankrupt loser, who's who's just out of his mind, wants to date his daughter said it repeatedly. That who golfed 300 days and is four years as president Aside from him, though. no, but I'm no, I'm just no, no, wait, no, but no one else got people to say civil war. No one else. This is the guy who actually tried to he fomented a coup. I think after it, you me, know, let me finish. He yeah. fomented a coup, but that's the guy. Like I like I get if there was some awesome crazy leader that you were like like a Kennedy, someone that Obama inspired. Uh, uh, you know, even 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 Eisenhower. Reagan had a weird way to talk to people. I get if there was somebody who, you know, had some sort of it, like overall integrity. But are we surprised really at all? Because he's been saying incendiary things, divisive yeah. things. The most divisive president, right? Ever? Yeah, probably ever. I, mean, I got Andrew Jackson. Maybe I'd go back to Andrew Jackson. Full page in the newspaper yep. before he was ever president about the Central Park Five. Uh -huh. Of which I called the Central Park Six on Twitter. Sorry, I'm a moron. Not to be guilty. Yeah, he's always been that asshole. He's just way ramped it up. He wanted them executed. And, and never then we found out that recanted they recanted it. it. Never no, of fixed course it. Not. Even after it was proven through DNA evidence that they didn't do it. Even yep. after that, yep. it was. I was just going to say, when you were saying that about him, I think it's the cat's out of the bag now. I think that even if DeSantis got in office, I don't right. think it matters now. Or Pence, even Pence. It is now us versus them. There is no come together. There's no middle ground. There's no, you're allowed to have your own beliefs. I have mine. There's none of that anymore. And my, and, and my beliefs, even if I can't give you a fact, even if I cannot back them up with any evidence whatsoever, my beliefs are still what I believe. That's where we've lost our fucking minds. I wonder now, if during the, the Civil War or leading up to it, yes, was that this same kind of like feeling between the two? Yeah. North to and south. The North and the South? Ooh, yeah. The North was just like, are these fucking idiots? Yeah, fucking yeah. crazy. Well, you got to remember and that then, was was that the beginning. So, eighteen seventies. It was kind of the beginning of of the industrial revolution. Kind of the kind of the 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 the, the beginnings of it with like trains and stuff. Because right, so it was, so so in the north, in the north had it going on. Mm -hmm. You know, and the mm -hmm. big cities had it going on, and then and the south didn't. They were still yeah. farming. They were still agriculture. And I guess it's the same now, man. If you, I you if we could pull up some trains like, were invented in 1804 in the UK. Yeah, but it was like a big thing though. Like it was in America, they were when pretty it became rolling. 1860 more is, accessible. Good, so, 1827. Okay, so good. So, so we had like a really so the Industrial Revolution was kind of underway on the East Coast and building uh, up up in the North. And all you had down south was agricultural stuff, cotton and fields. And, and so, of course, mm -hmm. so we have the same thing in California. We have a civil war in California. On the coast, all the way up the coast, yeah. it is intellectuals and uh, software and tech. You go mm -hmm. 200 miles in inland. Mm -hmm. It yep. is literally, it's Calabama. It's Calabama, yeah. right? And, and, and the whole Central Valley is Calabama. And you just- They're on different timelines. 
a ta- it, 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 it's it, like it, different centuries. Yes, yeah, one's in the future and one is different decades. Yeah. It, we are in definite. And the thing for me is that, like, we have people in our family that were at CPAC in Hungary. They're like they're hardcore uh, conservatives. I wouldn't call them hardcore conservatives. They're just conservatives. I don't think they're they're not these nuts we're talking about. What? You know what? I and wish the funny thing is when they hear stuff highly educated, and when they, they hear read. stuff that they don't know because they they watch Fox or whatever. When they hear stuff that they they're like they don't never they go screw you. They go. Well, you have what? conversations with right. Well, with them like and 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 I was told that they cannot that we will accept them in our family. We will actually be friends with them because I I because that's how it's going to be. And I love them both i do but we get along and it's like what i said in the new show you know is that we have to find a way to talk to each other without talking about either if you can't talk politics with them don't my whole yeah my i have a family member like that that i have realized i can't talk to and i don't want to and so every text exchange that we have within a few texts there it's it starts to go into whatever covid stuff you know the constitution and, and i'm just like and i just say something dumb back and ignore it because i'm not going to go there some people i got I new can. shoes yeah <laughs> <laughs> i like pickles <laughs> But um, <laughs> I like pickles. Oh, gets, that's the tone I want to put in a text. Tweet, tweet that from yeah, the Civil I, I War. I want that tone. I wish it was a tone button. That's my, I like pickles. That's my phrase when <laughs> I don't want to go there. Pickles are so good. Um, but like even grandma, you know, we can talk to grandma about stuff politically and she doesn't get angry we don't get angry in fact last time we were there she told you that trump was responsible for getting the vaccine everywhere and you said no he's not and so she sat there on her ipad looked it up and then apologized three times throughout the day and said i shouldn't have said anything to you you know more about it than i do so where where was she getting that her the original Soundbite. Where you was know, she going I don't know because she watches usually CNN, but very briefly. Mm-hmm. I think relatives. I think family. Uh-huh. Yeah. I think I know that a lot of that family talk about it a lot. You yeah. know, those people yeah. that have to keep talking about it because yeah. it's and I and I I don't want to talk about it with people anymore. And so I think she picks Sorry. it up. Yeah, really. <laughs> um, I don't know s- Facebook maybe. Mm-hmm stuff like that fox on her ipad i don't know yeah it was you know, the great thing about grandma is uh, she didn't just go no you're wrong i, she, I said no grandma I, I said actually uh actually uh they offered money to pfizer and moderna and they both turned it down and developed it on their own in fact the company that that, that the government invested in that trump was like touting they had to shut everything down because it didn't work so and she looked it up and she's like oh my god three times she kept saying you know i shouldn't have even got involved with you i'm like grandma it's fine it's, it's just not worth it man it's well, not worth it to lose a- family over like if you mm-hmm. loved that family already yeah you know if you already hated them just keep them out you know <laughs> but if you loved them already and you're only noticing that you're really starting to hate them since trump got in office it's so it's not worth it so what do we do it keeps happening so what do we do I mean, this extends to think, as the nation. Well, I think what she's talking about is not, I think what you're talking about is not the people we have the problem with. What, we, what we're all frustrated with is the people that, um, and, and that, there's nothing to do with people that no matter what you say mm-hmm. are, are going to keep believing what they believe. Yeah. Like like the gun thing is like t- today someone, uh, there was some guy from Australia who follows me and he was like, he goes, a little update everyone, uh, listen, uh, yeah, we, uh, we changed the gun laws and uh, guess what? A shooting stopped. All right, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure that was Great. Australian. Was yeah. <laughs> he was, it was a little, go ahead. It was a little Englishy. It's sorry. Little, Give me searching. Crocodile Dundee. That's not a knife. There you go. Uh, that's a knife. <laughs> right. No. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> so he, so anyway, he, he and, and then people kind of jumped all over him, and then everybody's going, and now there's this weird thing. So, so the, the, you got the any crazy. I believe guns. Should, everyone should have a gun. That's crazy. I believe. Uh, I believe that the election was stolen. Well, that's crazy. And those, there's a bunch of people on those sides, and there's other shit too. But those two sides right now are prevalent and causing all the problems right now in America. That will not change. They've locked down, and it, and it, you know what it shows to me shows t- uh, a lack of critical thinking, a lack mm-hmm. of caring about what the facts are, and mm-hmm. a lack of uh, of like following the facts. And if you and that's where I get pissed. I'm like, you're just a dumb motherfucker. Sorry, you're just dumb. You fuck you, man. No, dude, you're just dumb. Here's the facts. Because I'll tell you what, 
No, I if, disagree with that approach. No, I, I, the approach is not right. But I'll tell you this: <laughs> if the facts were different, I am a critical thinker enough to go, "Uh, yeah, you know what? Every time there's a shooting, we've stopped twenty five shootings because a guy had a gun and, and took out. That's never happened. It's never happened. If twenty five out of twenty four out of twenty five mass shootings were stopped by a good you guy with right. a gun, we do need to ban body armor. Yeah, for people that aren't in law enforcement or something. Right. Why do you have body armor for hunting? Okay, I get it. You have a rifle for hunting. Got it. Oh, what a deer is going to come running yeah, at you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. First. Yeah. So you want to use you want to use uh, 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 basically uh, sprawl ammunition, uh, whatever the two six two, whatever it is called, ammunition. You want to use that hollow point ammunition, for whatever, to go hunting with an AR fifteen. Okay. You know what? That's vague, and and we're really extending what hunting is. But okay. Why do you need body armor? <laughs> right. So if we register body armor, put VIN numbers on body armors, you know, or, or body armor identification or VIN numbers, um, uh, and then you have to register it, and you have to fill out a thing, and they you have to they have to clear you. Why do you need body armor? You go, well, I need it for my job. What's your job? Then they have to do a background search. Screw you, you can have everyone can have a gun. But you can't have body armor. I think it would make people think a little bit more about mass shooters walk in. Uh, I'm not protected. What if there is a good guy with a gun? He's going to get shot by the cops. Yeah. But but. Uh, <laughs> So I'm just saying that it's the lack of facts. What's happened, what, what Trump did was tell everybody it was okay to be stupid. He basically said, it's, guys, it's okay to be racist and stupid. But that had already started. It had started, but he said, I love the poorly educated. And the poorly educated were like, he loves us. <laughs> <laughs> and he made fun of us in the same sense. ChristopherTitus.com. <laughs> Forgot uh, I had the joke still in my head. <laughs> social media, reality shows, reality shows. Reality shows, big thing. That yep. honey boo boo. It started with real world. Naked and afraid. But, but the lauding stupidity, really uh, Duck Dynasty, um, honey Boo Boo, Housewives. Even out, Street Outlaws. Drama and no education is how you keep your part on that show. And if not, you get not the no education. I'm just making that my observation. No, but. you say stupid shit all the time and you sound ignorant and you get start fights with people that we've become you a society. You have a spot next year. Yes, yeah. we have, we've become a society of, of being cool is boring, being, being smart is boring, being obnoxious, loud, bombastic, that works. I think I've said this before, but I happen to know one of the housewives and she got, she fell in love, created a lot of drama, drank too much, made mm -hmm. an ass of herself on several seasons, fell in love and settled down got happy. and got happy and quit doing that and quit drinking too much and they fired her because mm -hmm. her storyline was too boring. So the one thing we can maybe all agree with, maybe all of us across all spectrums is that the media runs everything. Yes. We were talking about, oh, we're gonna do a sketch. Uh, right? No, don't give it away. Okay, uh, so something <laughs> happened today, we we're talking about the news and the news is not news anymore. They report like some shit and they show yeah. some video yeah. and then it's, they start making stuff up of what possibly could happen. Yep. Well, that's the then thing. They talk for half an hour about like, yeah, what, but what if do you Trump think of this? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so, so what you're saying is this. So, uh, Herschel Walker, who's a football player, has no idea what he's doing with any kind of government at all or even writing a check. He's going to be the Republican nominee for a Senate. Now, that's almost news. And it gets received as news. What I saw in the news there was- you, Yeah, they said, uh -huh. that's a good point. And so now we've got a bunch of people making shit up all the time and dealing in just like fantasy Harry Potter mm -hmm. shit that, has, that doesn't yep. happen. Unsubstantiated bullshit. Right. So this probably goes back to, the again, the fairness doctrine. Right. If you look at the news, Walter Cronkite doing the news- Straight up. He was just like, this is what happened. And then this happened. I'll see you tomorrow. There was a great Glasses. Norm McDonald bit I was listening to. I was driving to this hardware store uh, yesterday, and and they, I was just a Comedy Central, and they were playing a Norm McDonald bit about the news. He goes, "It used to be that was a it was a, news was a half a hour. It was half a hour. That was it. And that was and you know what they had? You know what we found out then? That's about all the news there was every day. Mm -hmm. About half an hour. <laughs> and then now it's twenty four hours mm -hmm. of news. And the thing is. It's still only about half a hour. Yes. <laughs> Every news show that comes on, dun, 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 dun breaking news. Yep. And it's the thing that the show the hour before did and the show, and we saw it the night before yeah, on Rachel Maddow. Earlier. And it's like, it's enough. It, because they have 24 hours to fill now, mm -hmm. they have to talk and muse and yep. 
think of hypotheses that mm-hmm. maybe, and then discuss what could happen and, from that, and then have a bunch of pundits on but all, who really have nothing, nothing to do to with say. it, but they also have musings. And so here's what I noticed, and and it, so let's say so so basically Biden, the, the, we had the baby formula shortage, shortage, baby formula shortage. Got to try saying that baby formula shortage, Jesus. So and then so they were like, oh, Biden's killing babies. Okay, <laughs> stop. But okay. He's Biden eating babies. Thing. He signs the uh, formula uh, uh, procurement act, whatever they just signed. They fly in thirty tons of baby formula. This is prescription baby formula for babies with special needs. So mm-hmm. that got flown in. Mm-hmm. Now they've actually upped it. They're bringing in Swedish formula. They're, they've actually got that plant in Abbott turning on again. They're actually going through what they got to do. That's going to take a couple weeks. So he's on it. Now hold on, hold on. How fast were the jets going? Exactly. Okay. But that's, Listen to me. Wait, so why didn't he do it two months ago? Let me ask you this. Why didn't Biden get on the baby for me thing two months ago? Well, I, he, no, I don't think he, I, he's, first of all, he's been kind of busy, but second of all, but but everything he does, uh, so uh, Biden, so Biden's got, so uh, unemployment is at 3.6%. Uh, why isn't it 3.5%? Uh, well, because cause he keeps adding jobs, but, but, but that's exactly it. It shouldn't be 3.1%. Mm-hmm. It means, wait, are you saying that 3% of this country is unemployed? What? Is that because all the people at the baby formula factories <laughs> are, are out, out of they're work? Out, they're out of work because of Biden didn't get the baby from. So, and then they come. Well, and then the, then he's doing all this great stuff. He he, he puts in the, the 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 SCOTUS nominee, who's who's the one of the best, smartest women. Like, sorry, screw screw. One of the smartest SCOTUS nominees we've ever put in, and more accomplished than most. And they go. But his approval rating is 33%. I'm like, are you guys, yeah, but you guys keep, what, but. Uh, I like shoes. What was that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pickles. pickles, pickles are good. I like pickles. <laughs> and, I, and I just go, why aren't you guys, if there wasn't this division in America right now, if the news didn't understand that they were making so much fucking money, what, what people don't get is yeah. because the further we're apart, the more money the news makes. Yep. The more we're apart, the more money the media makes. Yep. They don't get it. And I believe this. And I don't agree with you. I don't agree with conservatives on almost anything. I will agree with them on this. The media has got their, and it's. I see it on MSNBC too. They're addicted to the drama of reality television that you just called it. They're addicted to it. And they do everything they can to not just report the news, give us the facts. They give us the facts or whatever they think the facts are. And, and, and Fox skews it way far. I think MSNBC skews it a little bit. According to polls, though, CNN is close to the center. CNN is really close to factual. They're like 78% factual. They still fucking love the fucking drama. You can see it's the dirty laundry song. You can see the fucking newscaster. Yep. Got we had ten people got shot in Buffalo, and you. Mm-hmm. Did, it's not. Oh my god! It's <laughs> ten people got. Shot. We're gonna be busy for a couple uh-huh. of days, <laughs> and we need to. The fairness doctor needs to come back, but with Congress the way it is, I don't think it'll ever come back. I be because that drama, that bullshit, that extreme uh, craziness. The news can all say whatever they want. Uh, makes too much money for uh, the owners, as George Carlin called it. The We're owners. so far apart. We had people vote against the baby formula, getting yeah, the, the funding to get the baby formula. Right. They who, who voted against went it? on the news to mm-hmm. say that he should have done it a long time ago and this never would have happened under Trump or what. But then, then they went back in and voted against helping. Getting baby formula. To only to because it was... A bill put together by Democrats. Yeah. So, but that's yep. but that's where we've lost our fucking way. So anything. So, and the problem is this. Let's say it switches back to a majority uh, Republican. All the Democrats are going to do the same fucking yep. thing. You guys, how about you guys just start fucking stuff? You're. I feel like you're bitching a lot today. No. Here's what I tweeted. tweeted. <laughs> no, here's Twitter? what I, here's here's what I tweeted about. Yeah. I said, could you guys stop fighting each other? and actually stop trying to stop the other guy from getting a victory and start giving all of us in America who pay your fucking salaries victory. Do you have anything positive to say today? What are you 
my positive about you know i am i am extremely happy with my life right now i have an amazing wife i have an amazing like partner at the job man we write shit. the stuff we put out the last couple weeks oh do you know the did you know that the white supremacy oh, yeah. piece hit one hundred and fifty thousand views like right away if yeah, you guys haven't seen this yet um it's a, a sneak special. preview from the new special yep. they released a clip about white supremacy because, and well, it's because on of the shooting YouTube, yeah? because of the nazi that shot 10 black people yeah we released it because of that. Uh, it's a, it's called uh, White Supremacy Rebuttal. You can go to Christopher Titus TV. But I, I, I'm unhappy because we're talking about civil war now. I'm bitching because why are you going to have a civil war when we are all Americans and the people that are dividing us are the people that are currently running America? I think, though, that, um, you know, it's like I keep saying, I definitely try and do my part in any given situation, True. however small that might be. California is... Um, they're talking about possible rolling power outages, things like that. Texas too. Mm -hmm. Electricity is becoming scarce. And um, I'm sorry, what? So, yeah. <laughs> so, it's in the air. How is it? <laughs> well, there's a transition where they've been sh all over the country. They've been shutting down plants. Old that, coal, 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 coal and, and fuel. Factors, yeah. fossil fuels. And, but they, because of supply chain issues, the new mm -hmm. factories or whatever they are, plants or whatever, are not ready at the same time. So there is going to be, they're saying, like a three-year maybe problem. China delivers our coal, right? They send us their but coal. But you, I <laughs> said to you, because <laughs> yeah. DWP put out a thing about here are peak hours, try not to use yeah. electricity during this time or water. So I started doing that. And you were actually said to me the other night, he said this to me. He goes, what do you think? You are going to make a difference? You think you doing what you should do is really going to make that big of a deal? Wow. So how dare you, I, You know, cynical Titus came out. And I heard it. <laughs> she called me out. I was sitting on the Isn't couch. Isn't that terrible? And she's like, we're only going to do this at certain times. And she started drinking water out of the out of the uh, we have a uh, water filter. We have thing. a restaurant grade filter thing for our sink instead of plastic bottles. And, and as somebody who promotes like that I one know. person can make such a difference, God who's it, made I so many it. examples, she calls me on it, and I said, "Oh, you're right." Because she goes, "Yeah, if I do it, and ten thousand other people do it, it's a big difference." And I was like, "That's a good point. That's valid." But if those same ten thousand people think, you know what, just me, I'm not, or they listen right. to their husbands, you're not going to make a difference. So where am I making like, it? Oh. So here's my positive. And to, and to all you conservatives that 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 watch this podcast for one reason to comment on, on youtube about what a piece of shit i am and god bless you welcome no thank you <laughs> i want you guys to know and i said it in the new special i wrote a piece in the new special about it um how do you get back to actually that guy down the street who you used to be buddies with and you used to have beers with and you, and he came to a barbecue but then he put a biden sign in his lawn and now you hate his guts mm -hmm. or the guy or your uncle who you don't like anymore because he voted for trump and that uncle helped raise you he's the guy that gave you a cigarette for the first time behind the building and gave you a drink of whiskey and he was fun now you don't talk to him because he voted for trump just stop talking about politics to him that's what we've forgotten i think we've forgotten and i'm not saying uh don't vote the way you want to vote and i'm not saying to believe what you want to believe but you have to understand, and I just got this in this second, it doesn't fucking matter what I think politically to, and tell you if you don't agree with me or you tell me. Us fighting doesn't change a damn thing. It right. doesn't change it. Go to the, you know what? Go vote. Go right. vote. But stop arguing with each other about it. We've become this, I'm just getting this. We've become this country that spends more time bitching to each other, at each other, about mm -hmm. what about we each other. believe. Mm -hmm. And I just got, it doesn't make a no. damn bit of difference. And it doesn't solve, until the, does, we can't communicate through that. So if you wanna right. really help to kind of talk things through and convince them of them to see your side, you can't fight them on it. But the thing is, is that it's like with my family that I've said to you, cause you're like, well, how can you, you know, be so f f friendly and fun with them when they believe this? And I'm like, because my whole life, know, it, just it never mattered to me, my whole life, what my sister thought about politics. She was my sister. She took care of me when I was sick. She's been with me through some of the most heinous things in my life. Still is. Still, still helpful. Is, still great. Still loves me, you know, like few people do. And I thought all of the sudden now we care what your politics are but i didn't before so what happened yeah. and why did i allow that to happen yeah. and it's like we have become a country of people that we actually if you stopped and broke it down we actually believe that everyone that we deal with 
has to think like we think. You have to believe what I believe. And 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 if you don't, I'm going to cram it down your throat and you're going to know what a fucking moron I think you are, which is insane. You just described no. my entire Twitter I know. Feed. That's what I was doing. <laughs> that's what I was doing. And that's insane. I, I, did I tell you what I did, though? I, I said I'm not going to swear anymore on Twitter. I'm, I'm just going to be smarter about it. Uh, you the know reason I said effing moron was because I was being you, you on know, Twitter. Do you know why? You know who? You know who did a great job of this uh, uh, a couple years ago when Trump first got when the when Trump first got in? We were all like, "Holy shit!" Yeah. Because that, by the way, you can track it to that. Now the country had to change for it to happen. And be clear, Trump didn't win the popular vote. He lost by three million votes. You're, when he came you're still making. Me I'm points. just making a point though. <laughs> Everyone goes, "He he won." Well, he lost by three million votes, but okay. Uh, Sarah Silverman did a great job with uh, David Weissman. There was this thing that happened yeah. on Twitter where this guy was brutal to Sarah Silverman. And Sarah Silverman, who's, who's a very nice person, uh, just basically talked to him on Twitter. Yeah. Tell me, explain, explain, explain. And at one point, her kindness got through to him in a way that her anger didn't. Well, he yeah. was able to hear what she said because she wasn't cussing well, then he started him looking at Now he's a hardcore lefty. Yeah, he's he like, he, mm. In a good way. He's yeah. like, he's really, you know. Uh, um, this episode, because you need it, I need it, we all need it, is brought to you by Athletic Greens. It's a product that I use legitimately every day. Um, I started using it before I work out now instead of first thing in the morning. And when we get low on it, you have a tendency to not give me mine in the morning. Uh, it's in the pantry. Did you hear what? Do you hear what he just said? To give me mine in the morning. <laughs> do you hear that? Are you everybody pay attention? <laughs> to give me mine, woman. So, where's my <laughs> athletic green? <laughs> your ass can walk Deliver down the stairs <laughs> and get yeah, your own. I just, I just I brought in a backhoe. I thought I'd dig a hole today. I just wanted to dig <laughs> oh a hole gosh. a couple of different ways. Uh, a lot of things aren't going to come to you if you stay in bed. You have to get out of bed and go get them. That's actually I how the writing. world works. Okay. Tweeting, you mean truthing? You were truthing. I, I was not truthing. It was Definitely. truthing. That's I was what not he was truthing. Doing. Um, I, so I've started using it before I work out because I'll usually work out like early afternoon late morning and i need it's right when i start to get a little bit of a slump this gives me an energy boost mm -hmm. it m makes me feel clearer which is the weirdest thing i was noticing this the other day that since i've started using this regularly my head is clearer like when i get up in the morning it's it's an i don't know how to describe it i just noticed it so I had I went out Friday night with Zach. You went out with your with the girls, and I went out with Zach. We saw a great movie, mm -hmm. and, and then we met you guys. And I had a couple. I had too many drinks, mm -hmm. and we got home fine. I got home. I, I, I and I got home, and the next day I was feeling a little shitey, and I was sitting on the couch, and mm -hmm. you brought me a little shaker, and you're like, boom. Oh, that's like, how you had it. And I was like, uh, I was like, yeah. See, that's, see, you can't train me that you're gonna bring me something. <laughs> Man, when I go, where's my stuff? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, really? I'm just, uh, but the Yorkies are fine. I live with three Yorkies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you gave it to me. I was feeling a little hungover. You gave me the Athletic Greens, and I have to be honest. Within about mm, an, uh, thirty minutes, thirty-five minutes, my headache went away, and I felt way. That's clearer. why I gave it to you because we had Liquid IV and Athletic yeah. Greens. I gave it to you because I was feeling the same way, and uh, I had one, and I was like. No shit. That's yeah. pretty crazy. Yeah. Um, so it gives your body what it needs and right. what it's not necessarily getting. So you have 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, whole foods, source superfoods that you may not be able to eat enough of in, every day, probiotics and adaptogens. Um, supports gut health, which is huge for me, nervous system, immune system, energy, recovery, focus, and aging. And everybody seems like is concerned with aging. Yeah. And this is helping you get those things that you need that you're not able to I eat enough really of every day. I was really concerned waking up on Sunday and looking in the mirror. I'm like, oh, I'm aging. I, <laughs> I have actually packed mine. I'm going to grandma's tomorrow. I pushed my trip back. So I'm going to grandma's tomorrow and I've actually packed. I counted the days and then packed enough Good. so that I would have it. It's a great product. I, I love it. It does make it tastes good it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't make me feel uh, some of the stuff we had in the past was too harsh it's not harsh it's got everything in it it's got a good flavor it makes me feel better and uh that's what we had that's what, what i think is interesting about it is the guy that founded it was having massive gut health issues like so many so especially americans are and we don't even realize what we're yeah, taking in terrible. in our food mm -hmm. you know yeah there's only 1200 different ingredients that the rest of the world is banned exactly. that we continue to right, use that in we keep using. yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> that are banned in paint that we're yeah, yeah. yeah. so he <laughs> so he developed this 
and it changed his life. And so, um, that are banned in paint. <laughs> we put it in chicken. We're, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're eating them in our hamburgers. Rice Don't put this near paint. <laughs> so, right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition, especially in cold and flu season, COVID season, all of these seasons, monkeypox season for immunity. <laughs> it's just once, it's not as fun as it sounds. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every day. No need for a million different pills and supplements. Um, to make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. So the D is in a dropper. You add it to your shaker bottle or to the glass and um, you get your D3 every day. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash Titus. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash Titus to take ownership over your health. Pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Worth it. Good product. Uh, it really we went, is. saw a great movie. Kind of, I, I don't really, I'm not a big uh, fan of promoting movies because there's so many of them, but we saw a Nicolas Cage movie, Zach and I, uh, Zach Ward and I, this weekend that was honestly one of the funniest movies I have seen in maybe 10 years. And you went out and then went into a theater to watch it? We went, well, Zach has, Zach's a big movie buff and a guy, and he's like, how was going. that? It was it was interesting. People, it was great to be in. Uh, Zach said it was great to be in a room full of people that we all got it because it was Hollywood and there's a lot of Hollywood inside oh, stuff yeah, in this yeah. movie. So it's called. Uh, Wait, but were you the weight? The were weight. there a lot of people in there? The incredible weight of massive talent. Yeah, about every th every th maybe three seats away. It was mm -hmm. it was enough. Mm -hmm. The incredible weight of massive talent. Uh, oh, that's it. Yeah, and Nicolas Cage plays Nicolas Cage. And there's this guy that wants to wants to wants him to come to his place for a million dollars. Nicholas gets doesn't get this job, and so he goes to. But Nick Cage, he likes to be called Nick Cage. It's, it's, it's weird. It's in the movie. You're really clear that it's Nick Cage. I have to be honest. People go see this movie. I'm not going to tell you what happens in it. It is meta on top of meta on top of meta. It go. It just keeps mm -hmm. going. At one point, Zach and I, and the great thing about it was a seat in Hollywood with a bunch of people who got the inside jokes. It was hysterical. Very rarely have I been in a theater when it was when there was that much laughter. It's only happened a couple times in my life, uh, in different ways. Uh, American History X. Uh, <laughs> was, it, no, a lot wait, of laughter. Not a lot of <laughs> Well, I oh, saw it the wrong. Feel I saw, good. Feel I saw, good. No, you guys. I, was gonna gonna say, I said it in different <laughs> ways. You morons. I said it in different ways. Uh -huh. It was right after where, laughter. where the theater, where the theater, kind of, kind of, everybody became part of one like mind. It was cool. Uh, American History X. We started. I, I went and saw it in the Valley. Oh, bunch of gang members showed up it was crazy uh -huh. and so we were there in the back and i'm like okay all right it's gonna be wild all of everybody's voices White and yelling supremacy gangs no or? no 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 they because oh. i guess they had read it no it wasn't it was it was uh, like latino gang members and stuff and and they were all there and the second the movie started uh the first scene happens with the curb stomping and everyone got quiet and became this communal experience of like this is fucked up mm -hmm. pretty cool same happened with and then independence day was a different way well, i went to independence day then they came out on fourth of july the theater was like oh it was insane this movie was the same way with comedy that the entire theater was laughing the whole time and it was such a great communal experience i miss but, will smith i just want to say i Day. was yeah. the movie's really i had good, gone though. from one Go patio to another right and so where you guys met us was called better than sex and dessert. it's a, basically a bar that has it's just a desserts. dessert bar yeah, yeah. and there it's like very it's dark chill mm -hmm. and there's black very and hollywood white dark very hollywood pictures, dark red velvet and black and white pictures mm -hmm. everywhere of naked people like having sex but not like it's artistic ish yeah. and um then they have dessert drink type things like you can get even just a cabernet red wine mm -hmm. but with a salted caramel rim so the caramel's like dripping down the you have to keep saying baseball baseball grandmother so you don't finish exactly yes <laughs> wow baseball works never works it's um it was great it was really great and the, you can order desserts but here's too. how i drink that wine you got so she gets me a glass of wine with the chocolate on it and i'm like yeah, we all did. <laughs> it's the weirdest. We it did. was the weirdest. Like they need to work on that because it's a weird. It's we a, all did. Yeah. So I had tried a couple of Try their. This. Thank you. Let's go. Mm, of their drinks. Like what but year I, is it? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm licking a glass. It was also weird when I gave it to one of my the, my girlfriends that was there, and I go, "Do you want to try this wine?" And she took the glass and went. 
and then dragon i was like oh no <laughs> exactly <Mm-mm." laughs> yeah. um but, but it was awesome i had had tried a couple of the dessert drinks not really my thing so i ordered a vodka soda and i got a salted caramel rim on a vodka soda that was actually really good but <laughs> the next day all of us were like sugar pumped sugar high mm, yep. and then a crash horrible headache yep. and that was when i had that athletic greens but yep. it was like it i was needed a, a burrito is what i'm saying oh, yeah. the day we were you- sending like filtered selfies to him and then we got <laughs> a selfie back from you and zach because you guys don't know how to use filters that we don't was, just think, we don't think about it it was great it was very cute and then when they the showed up it was and, fun it was yeah it was a fun night it was fun we night. did our own thing and then we came together go at the end of the see night. uh the incredible weight of massive talent you're gonna laugh your ass off we really got fun. home needing a good sleep and thank god that this episode is brought to you by bowl and branch sheets because we did um bowl and branch is they are next level sheets they kind of have this stance that it doesn't so much matter what thread count your sheets have like you know how that's the thing for all yep. companies that it's actually the quality of what they're made with speaking of better than sex exactly yeah. So treat, treat, um, treat they better. use a hundred percent organic cotton threads, um, superior softness. The more you wash them, too, the softer and better they get. So that's what I. So we got into bed, especially after the night. Get into bed. I get into bed like this because those sheets and the bed we have. I get into bed like this. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> They are amazing. They also, they would make a great gift. They are awesome to open for yourself because it comes in this crazy, like, apple level box yep. with ribbon and everything. The presentation is excellent. The quality of the, of the product itself, brilliant. The presentation, excellent. Um, still, still not sure who, but used by three U.S. presidents. I don't know. We first heard that on the news. Yeah, I've been hearing that on, on a series for a long time. Um, breathable as well. So if you sleep hot like I do, it's they're awesome even during summer. Um, you, they don't have toxins in the cotton that's used. It's organic, so that for me is very important. It means no pesticides, formaldehyde, or other harsh chemicals, which you're very sensitive to. I, that, you know, it's funny when you ordered it, when we opened it, when we got it. I didn't even think about that. But usually, when you get new sheets, you open it and it smells mm-hmm. chemically. These didn't. Oh yeah. Uh, I didn't even factory. think about that. Yeah, they they didn't smell. They were like, I didn't even think about it. When I went to that I place, like Ojai, the Optimum yeah. Health <laughs> Institute. <laughs> that's just very George Washington. That, that, was, Nixon. That's what <laughs> that was one of the Ew. things that they said was that you need to get organic cotton sheets and blankets. Yeah. Because oh, otherwise, for your allergy, too. And, but your skin is the largest organ on your body and everything you don't realize, like people are very worried about what they put on their face or what they eat, but you're actually absorbing everything through your skin. You know, so people will use like the craziest, like filled mm-hmm. with chemicals, lotion or sleep on these yep. sheets and not even realize what you're taking into your body, what chemicals. Um, so they give you a 30 day risk free trial, which I love or 30 night, as it were. Um, you also get free shipping and free returns on all orders because they know that you're going to love them. So you get 15 percent off your first set of sheets when you use promo code Titus at bowlandbranch.com. That's bowl and branch B O L. L A N D branch.com promo code Titus for 15% off. I love a company that, uh, that kind of like steps up and like, Hey, if you don't like it, send it back. I do too. I do too. It makes Cause me, then it, you don't have to worry it's, about you know, wasting it's your a money. company talking shit. That's what I like. I'm, it's like, I like, I, I like that company. <laughs> Smack talking. Talk. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, you don't like them, send them back. You're going to love them. I'll tell you right now. Boom. In fact, we'll take them back free. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay, then you really don't think I'm sending these back. Um, I'm going to North Carolina tomorrow. Grandma had an operation. Grandma had surgery Mm -hmm. on Friday. Yep. Um, they found cancer. She has- They cut it out. In her colon. Mm -hmm. They cut it out. Pew, pew. But- Um, They also took the lymph nodes around there um, because they don't know if, Mm -hmm. you know, where it's spread to or what. So biopsy those. Yep. Those are being biopsied. The mass is being biopsied. What is it about them? They say they're going to do something in doctors and they go in and they go, oh, by the way, uh, we also took chunk of your liver and a uh, piece of your soul. No, they have to. <laughs> like, we were just going to, it was a mild operation, but we've also. <laughs> they have to. You're missing a foot. We took your foot and. <laughs> they have to because. We weren't sure oh we needed gosh. to take the Which foot. Which one? We just want to make sure. I'm just going to yeah. shoot my own self right now. <laughs> we got going on a bit. Oh, sorry. We're... <laughs> <laughs> we got lost in the, in anyway, the weeds. 
I just I just kept trying to say a sentence and then you would interrupt me in the same place in the same sentence over and over. Usually you at least let me get a couple more words out. So by the end, it forms a sentence, which I like. Like I did just now. Yeah. See, that anyway, out. carry on. So I'm going to North Carolina. So they cut it out and then but they, they pulled the lymph, no, the lymph nodes. We don't have to talk about it anymore. I well, was just telling people. I, what's great, though, is, you know, grandma's personality is so awesome. We love grandma. And that she's uh, on pain medication and is really fun. I did. She called she's me three like, times the other day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's she's struggling, though. It's pretty tough. I mean, she's 88. She had mm-hmm. full anesthesia, all major operation, and now in the hospital for many days. And so hopefully she'll get out soon after I get there. And then I'll take care of her. At well, they got her up home. and walking, which is good. When did the she results walked come in? today for the first time. I, I think what? people don't. the results went for the. From they the said a couple of weeks, which I thought was a little much. In the hospital, they always take the lymph nodes around a what mask you... because that's how they determine the stage of cancer. How many lymph nodes do you have? Oh, or, like a, yeah, hundreds. A lot. Oh, really? Wait, wait, I mean, I'm not, you know. Let's see. I feel like 118. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go. Wait, wait, wait! And welcome well, to the lymph node. Lymph node. Six hundred. Six hundred. Hundred. You have six hundred lymph yeah. nodes. I don't know. When people go, I did take my lymph nodes from my armpit because I had this. I'm like, I always feel like, oh my god, how are you gonna live? Well, those and these are the most popular. They're, they're, yes, they're well, not all the equal. reason these certain ones are a bigger deal. These would be a massive deal. My mom losing these under her arm is a big deal because then there's nothing to filter. So she had lymphedema, which made her arm yeah. swell, and I called it her wiffle bat arm. Which, which she, she thought was hilarious, <laughs> <laughs> and not at all. She did eventually. Yeah. <laughs> not at first but 600 wow they're everywhere you have them in your groin I oh so, so if they take those out will it be bigger look like a wiffle ball bat <laughs> <laughs> boom we just found something <laughs> new procedure hey by the way uh, this episode brought to you by <laughs> I'm, I'm just I need to talk you're gonna shave down there why take some lift notes why? Because I want to be impressive. <laughs> those are your nymph nodes those are, <laughs> I don't even um, I like, she just she just <laughs> waving us off like a third base coach. Coach, you're like, mm, nah, mm, nah, mm, mm, that's mm. enough, fellas. Um, this episode also brought oh, to you by head. Sunday. Oh, you need people. You need this for the our our yard again is is booming. Even even I find even in the drought we're having right now, our yard is doing quite well. That's because I just used the thing that they just sent me. Right. The heat, I don't remember what it's called. You don't have to remember. That's the genius of Sunday. They tell you and send it to you and then say, do this, do this on this day, and then do this on this day. Sunday knows a guy. think about it, yeah. You send them a couple pictures, I have my handle But it was a heat protectant, water holder-ish thing. I don't remember <laughs> what it's called. Um, and you don't have to think about it, so it's great. It addresses your particular issues in the area that you're in. And for instance, we're in a drought. Whereas at uh, grandma's house, it has rained a lot. So it's very specific to where you are. Also, hugely important to me, no chemicals again, no harsh chemicals, um, pesticides, things like that. Can it's made with everybody? things like seaweed, iron, so molasses. Yeah. But guys, so, and I say this every time because it still stuns me. It seems like a magic trick. They take a picture of your house. They, you, you, they, they, have, they have the Google thing of your house. They actually have done research on all the soil that's in that area, but because they don't know what got moved or what, how your house got built or what they brought filtered in, then you send them a soil sample and they send you a, like, it's crazy to me that they send you everything you need for your specific soil. Yeah. Because it just it makes me. You do that at uh, getsunday.com if you're interested, just to see. Um, go look at your house on <laughs> there. Um, you just put in your address, and their lawn analysis tool does the rest. It just tells you what what you need. But it was very important to me um, to not make the dog sick, right, or put anything because they're on the grass all of the time, or us, but mostly mm-hmm. the dogs. But please too. invent something to make the moles sick. <laughs> and the gophers please sunday for god's sakes <laughs> help <laughs> uh, i was on there so i'm on this new kick something that i'm noticing and he's like oh geez she's on a new kick i get on mm-hmm. kicks uh that the bees are gone from our yard we used to have a lot of bees that, oh, is would, that a good thing or a bad thing they bad would thing. it's really Very bad, bad thing. bees are responsible for 70 percent of our food the pollination <laughs> you have <laughs> to have pollination so mm-hmm. some of the fruit trees that i have this year they started to get babies and they just fell off Uh uh-huh and then i noticed that 
where the bees always are right now, mm -hmm. swarming in particular places, and also our palm tree when palm trees when the pods None. pop open, they swarm around those and make the things open up. None. We have none. The thing, the pond, the pod thing just fell off the tree. And when she, and I remember when I was a kid and we reading in like the weekly reader yeah, in, in like too. school that if we lose the bees and the frogs, it's all over. Yeah. Well, we don't have, we, we live on a golf course and there's no bees. No right? bees. I've seen one so far at and all. He was, and he was like, hey, so, <laughs> <laughs> so, so hey. there's <laughs> also, <laughs> there's also <laughs> some kind of mite that's killing them, drought. Um, so we're getting bees. Pesticides. We're going to have bees. Things like that. Well, what do the neighbors so, do? I'm sure the neighbors are not. Well, so I went on Sunday's website and they actually sell, they sell fertilizer and seed and bees? plants. No, but they have um you can get like um not packets but what's the word bundles of pollinator plants things that attract bees so you need flowers to attract the bees Did brightly colored them? yes so i I've thought that was pretty cool that. so my yeah, dad oh my wow, gosh nice but I, 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 I hate <laughs> i hate that joke so much i'm applauding it's so bad it. so my dad when that. i was little when he was in the marine corps he had beehives in the backyard i don't know why he said it was calming i called him so he told me i gotta call the beekeeping association which i was like there's no beekeeping so there's one yes, not far from is. our house there's a beekeeping association i looked them up but we're gonna get bees but they're bitter suit and they're everything. they're very bitter All well once it. a year now so she he's I, I gonna got, do it i got freaked out because she has a an allergic uh she has an allergic reaction to it but i was i'm like well how often like is it a weekly thing i gotta get in the bee suit and go once a year you just go once a year and get, so the, get the honey yeah, go. yeah but then we'd have our own honey but we need bees so sunday had that so i just ordered that too i'm on a kick we're gonna so have the plan we're gonna have the plan um, with bees so you can go check out their website, check out your your lawn, look at the roof of your house and be a little freaked out. Um, also, you can order all this other stuff that you need because it's spring and we're going into summer. Um, so right now they're offering people that listen to us 20% off. Um, full what? season plans start at just $129 and then you you can get 20% off of that. It's so affordable. That's for the full season. So people season. are going to make more money uh, off listening to the podcast than we make for making the podcast? What? By saving twenty percent, they're actually the people that listen to the podcast are actually going to make more profit than we do doing the podcast. So you would get that twenty. I gotta go quick. You would get gotta... that twenty percent off when you visit getsunday.com slash titus at checkout. That's twenty percent off your custom plan at getsunday.com slash titus. Again, people, I got to tell you, man, this stuff has changed our. When we, when we bought this house, man, the people had. It's, it's almost like they were they were foliage vampires. They had slowly killed the lawn and the front. Remember how bad the front lawn was? And then the, the there was no. And you've planted. You be, you've become. You you're literally Snow White. You've planted trees and stuff. And uh, it's it's. Uh, I'm not. I'm on, I'm just prepping for Armageddon. I'm not. <laughs> it's, yeah, but without bees. We, yeah, we, that's my we next need thing. Bees. Getting, we're getting bees. We're building an ecosystem, basically. Yeah. Building a, <laughs> I tried to talk him into ducks over. because I want I. I've always wanted a duck named Albert. And um, so uh, he has always said no because we would end up coming home to a massacre because yeah, of the coyotes. The or the dogs would kill it. Oh, do you think so? Yeah, that yes. So a couple of weeks ago, I was standing in the window looking out and all of a sudden, Albert flew down and landed in our pool. And then his wife... Grace came right behind him <laughs> and landed in the pool, and I was like, "You." She's on a little floaty me. with sunglasses yeah, on. Me, yeah. <laughs> and then they hopped the out of the pool and they sat there and looked around, and I was like, "Oh." Shit. God sent us ducks. I got my ducks. <laughs> yeah, but no. Then when I tried to talk to them, they went and they never came back. But I thought I had finally. They gotten were like, the "You ducks. guys got no fucking bees. <laughs> if you had some bees, we would hang." But this is this is barren. This is bad. I'm it not, is it, bad. It, no bees. We're out. You got to get the pollinator pack from Sunday and get plate. bees back. <laughs> but we're putting hives on that hill down the back mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and he's going to be the beekeeper once nice. a year once a year my dad said sometimes the beekeeping association people will come out and do the bee get the honey for you because they have the machine they that extracts it, though, right? it they give you some they take some let me tell you this is gonna work um, <laughs> so once you got bees we're gonna take we're gonna help you we're gonna take care of your bees all you need a little bit a little bit of vig honey on the side a little bit just a little bit so you take it. We're 50 50. We're going to do 50 50 on this. Do me a favor, though. Don't talk to the queen. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> she don't like when we talk to her. You ain't you ain't qualified to talk to the queen. Um so civil war aside from altering the ecosystem without bees not just plants but many animals would lose their prey in the event of a bee right. die off it would impact natural systems and food webs now but, i had a huge but that's what's funny about the planet like the, i don't i'm not a i'm not the, a lefty because i don't want the plant to save i want to live on I think yeah but also friend. this is part of me doing my part so i'm gonna get bees and maybe mm -hmm. i won't make a difference but maybe if more people get bees so the department of agriculture estimates that pollinators like bees and butterflies help pollinate approximately 75% of the world's flowering plants. Wow. Which is 35% of the world's food crops. Jeez. Period. <laughs> Every time. Uh, the Put simply, here's the sentence. Put simply, we cannot survive without bees. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what people don't quite get. They're like, you know, man, gas prices are so high. We need, we need more gas and more <laughs> fossil fuels. Why don't you just kill everybody? What like we're just get bees? It's even stopped being. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. By the How way, I'm a would... hot rod guy. I love cars. I love yep. everything. Ah, you know, and and I'm like, you guys. At one point, I don't care what you think politically. We're just gonna die. How long would humans survive without, without bees? About five years. Four years. Holy wow. shit! Are you kidding? <clears throat> Einstein was actually the first person to say that. Um, oh great! Who the what? what with that moron, <laughs> <laughs> Einstein. <laughs> Jesus. Because overrated. We, we no lose, to him. Overrated guy. So who the plants stuff. that they pollinate, we would lose. But then animals eat specific plants. plants. So then yeah. those animals couldn't eat those plants. We would lose the plants and the animals. Okay, so everybody's got to get a beehive, even if you live in an apartment. Put it on in the Australia. balcony. Mm -hmm. Fury Road, yeah, it's gonna happen. So wow, uh, we have to get. I, I, that's what I was asking. When are we ordering our bees? We need to order our. Well, bees. I can't do it until I get back. Why not? I can take. it. Actually, my dad said you could. I was surprised at how much my dad remembered about it. You, he said you can order a pack of bees in the mail, and they yeah. give you a queen, right? I yeah, I remember going someplace with my dad and getting the queen in this little wooden box. And we, I grew up eating fresh honey and chewing on honeycomb is so good. I had a big, um, I had a couple bees, like I could see them from my deck, right? Just like swarming, like, oh, I think I have a beehive. Called, to have it, looked at. Turns out for a decade, they were building an entire colony up there. So like- In your apartment? Yeah, like right, right on my deck. It was a, wow. a decade long colony. And it's like, it got to the, and I talked to the bee people. And they said, oh, once it gets to a point, they start like attracting the bees from a nearby area. Like, oh, here's a new, this is where we're going to live. We've opened we're a new live here. condo complex. Yeah, 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 here. yeah exactly. <laughs> so it might have, that, the lifestyle hopefully. Center. It's a lifestyle center. What yeah. are they going to For do For the homeless bees. With they, can, them. they They just, and they took, show me pictures of how they did it. And they're like, they cut around it and they replanted them. Did they take them? them? They just moved them. Where? Um, to an incinerator. I, I was gonna say, no, did they know, no, did they take them upstate? It took them to Vegas. Yeah, The bee went to the farm. Bee farm. There's a bee farm. Don't worry about the bees. Why are you asking so many questions? So you might be responsible for the death of the human race. No, if you brought the bee people, did you bring like? Uh, did you call the bee association? By bee oh, yeah, people. Like the official. No, state no, bee no, people. no. By bee people, <laughs> he means he called Orkin. I didn't call Frank. <laughs> and Orkin yeah. came out and went. <laughs> Exactly. Shit. Well, now that be thanks for helping kill this uh, kill humanity, asshole. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Sorry. Oopsies. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you didn't know this. We all got to get bees. That's all I'm saying. We're gonna die. And if bees are responsible for thirty five percent of the food, no wonder they think they can sting you. They look kind of cocky. They look cocky. If you don't mess with them, they won't mess with you. Right. I mean, mm -hmm. I grew up with them. I have anaphylactic reaction mm -hmm. to bee stings. I grew up with them in the backyard. You know, kind of pushed back but i learned that if you don't mess with them they they aren't going to sting you and so i have been around when we did have bees in this yard and i just stayed away from them when i would see where they were swarming i would just walk around that can I, can do you know what i've read the other day too just want to throw this out there because we've had crows around a lot which is mm -hmm. weird um but i think drought they're tearing through our garbage like aggressively tearing through our garbage so i was looking up how to get rid of crows? Yeah, this yeah, she's <laughs> really freaked out because I'm a, I'm I'm a I'm aggressive. There's a the whole website of people, cr the crow people. They take this mm -hmm. very seriously. Mm -hmm. 
crows can remember your face for six months for s- up to six months so if that, you are that? aggressive that's a, it's a ballpark they of all the people that they were attacked by crows a lot, of, these studies. a lot of crows as witnesses in, in cases and, and a lot, <laughs> <laughs> so a lot, a lot. if you throw shit at a crow because it's you know messing with your garbage like he wants to I, I, a, I know I got you until December they bitch. will follow yeah, you get, and attack ahead. you <laughs> They will attack you. <laughs> yeah. oh! Countdown. Six months. <laughs> attack you. So this website of these crow people, they recommend wearing big sunglasses and care and using and a, an umbrella. Fruity, tweety, fresh and fruity mustache. She's right, we're in bed and she's reading them. And I'm like, wait, you have to get a crow disguise? Yeah. What are you, are you going to a party? Nah, I got crows. <laughs> By the way, who are you? I'm Jack Sparrow. Shut up. <laughs> or you just have to be nice to crows, but that I don't think is going to happen. No, I've already I already winged a couple things at him in the road. They came, came I told him not. Not to do it when I'm with him because that crow's in our backyard like <laughs> this you, looking mo- at me I like shit I gotta go to the Halloween shop again yeah, we're still it. watching TV last night just out here on the window <laughs> <laughs> did he say that or did he say he that ah <laughs> 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 gave me the wing <laughs> I know that they're going to associate me with you. <laughs> and then this website said, listen, this website said that if one of them starts to attack you and it's mad at you, it will call for its friends and then all of its, they'll all attack you. And it says the best thing to do if a crow attacks you or a murder of crows uh, is to be still and don't flap your arms wildly or scream. So, like a bear, like as if it's a bear. Yeah, I'm while they're punching, attacking, yeah, yeah. I'm just punching, fine. I'm I am fine. punching the shit out of some crows, man. <laughs> yeah. I will karate some crows. You, you know, it's gonna be because of you that I get attacked by. A no, crow. you're not gonna get attacked to be like she's nice. That dude's a dick. <laughs> I, <laughs> I love that they so. gang up. I like that the crows yeah, yeah, gang yeah. up. They're He's like, already they're been they're like coyotes with wings. They're like, we can't do it on our own. Let's go get a bunch of guys. Let's get a bunch of guys. We're gonna. Go. That guy right there, he keeps throwing shit at us. That guy, the guy, you know, the house with no bees. That house. <laughs> <laughs> the no bee house. We're gonna do- <laughs> it's a lot. A lot going on in the Titus ecosystem. <laughs> a lot. It's very stressful for me. It really is. <laughs> so I'm going to grandma's to deal with other stuff. And I'm going to fight crows while she's gone. <laughs> By the way, the worst superhero, <laughs> worst superhero skill ever. Close your eyes, though. Don't let them take your eyes. They won't get to my eyes. Okay. I'm just gonna they go, go right for the I'm eyes. just going to go out and just start reading Edgar Allan Poe on this thing. Yeah, what's up, bitches? <laughs> <laughs> no, just carry an umbrella. <laughs> or we're, well, I'm not, I'm not going out looking like me. I'm fake or mustache. I'm going to go out like yeah, Right, exactly. Yeah, just I'm, I'm new disguise hat. every day. Change my voice. How's it going, Krause? Good to see you, Krause. Like, there's a lot of people living right. here. What's going on? <laughs> um, I don't recognize that guy. I don't want, that ain't the same guy. Same height, same look. Same That's not the same guy. Uh, by the way, uh, I have to go because I have to go get ready to leave. But um, our shows in Edinburgh are on sale. Um, you can go to either one of our websites, rachelbradleycomedy.com, christophertitus.com, and go to our tour page. The links are there for each of us. Um also, we have flappers coming up in Burbank next weekend. Is it next third, weekend? Third through six. Third, third, and, third like through the fourth, like Friday and Saturday. And then uh, Tempe Improv, he's going to do 10 through 12. I'm doing the Thursday. So June 9th, you can come out and see my whole show and then come back the next day and see his Guys, show. Guys, Flappers, get tickets to Flappers because I'm doing, I'm not doing, uh, we're not doing zero side effects anymore. I'm doing, I'm doing a show that I didn't get it, get it, didn't get it finished because of COVID. So, so June 9th, Tempe Improv, me. June tenth, eleventh, twelfth, Titus. Um and then, the third. and then not long after that, uh June seventeenth and eighteenth, Wise Guys in Salt Lake City. Yay! I yeah, like that. Yeah, we love that club. And then coming up, Des Moines, o- Omaha. We haven't been in Omaha in a long time. Um, Toledo, Columbus. We have some good ones coming up before Edinburgh. Good. We got to get ready. You have to, you, uh, you don't even know your show yet. <laughs> I know the show I have, but that's not the show that I want to take. I have, I need more stuff. We're working on it now. I want n- not more stuff. I need different stuff because we can only do an hour anyway, and I'm already over an hour. So it's going to be I interesting. I have to take everything down. I have to take an hour 30 down to an hour. Mm-hmm. You're looking, he's like, you guys both looking at me like, well, that's what I'm saying. So, (laughs) so right now, mine's about an hour and five, hour nine, depending on how fast I go. But I want to write three more bits, but I have to do an hour. So, do that math. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, mm -hmm. people, what people don't quite understand is Edinburgh is, is like the, probably the world's largest comedy festival. Mm -hmm. And we were honored that, that we got invited to it. Um, so people, if, if you're going to be, uh, if you're listening to us, uh, not in the States, uh, please go to Edinburgh. Yeah. And, but I'm doing probably the most, uh, the most human show that I think I've, this one, this one is like part two to Norman Rockwell. Mm -hmm. This is part two to Norman Rockwell. That's what this one is. And, and your show is intense, man. I've never seen you. I remember when you broke He means in, funny. That's no, intensely mean. funny. But what your subject matter is like, you're not playing. I never forget the first time she didn't want to do it. She, we were in Austin and, and we were playing this little theater and she goes, I don't, I don't do my own material. I go, well, do the new stuff. She goes, I haven't written it. And I go, just, I go, you're a comic. Just, you know, the stories, the stories of the stories. Tell them. standing ovation, 20 minutes. You did 20 minutes in front of me, got a standing ovation. Never hated you more. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, I gotta follow this shit. Thank you. I'm like, how are you guys doing? She was awesome. Yeah, I know, wasn't she? <laughs> Bring her back. Shut up. Let me finish my jokes. Can I get a joke out, dicks? Um, all right, well. You're for sure getting attacked by crows. It's 100% gonna happen. Guys, do me a favor. Go to Christopher Titus TV, uh, please. There's a lot of content there uh, on YouTube. Uh, you can actually see, uh, we, have, we, have, we have a single bit from the new special that came out great. I cannot believe how it blew up. It was pretty crazy. Uh, also, if you want any uh, t-shirts, we have a commemorative t-shirts from the taping. Uh, the Titus, uh, now let's vet in a vaccine for stupid uh, shirts. Go to ChristopherTitus.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. From, oh, and before we go any further, uh -huh. though. Mm -hmm. And now it's a fun fact from Highlander. Fun, fun fact, fact from, from Highlander. Highlander. Fun, fun fact from Highlander. Highlander. Here's, Here's a fun fact. fact. Bubble wrap <laughs> was, in, was originally intended to be wallpaper. What? What? Bubble wrap was originally intended to be wallpaper. Seven, when was it invested in the 60s? No, you would think in the 70s, right? Yeah, yeah right. Like some funky, 70s. stupid yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, late 60s, 70s. 1957. For what? Uh, let's see. It was. You know, they didn't have insulation and stuff. Then. Was it for insulation and stuff? Well, that's weird. Invented in 1957 by engineers, who cares, who sealed two shower curtains together, creating a smattering of air bubbles, which they initially tried to sell as wallpaper. Then in 1960... They th it took them three years to realize this. <laughs> they realized they're so, <laughs> let's glue those shower curtain together. I like pickles. <laughs> As they're trying, <laughs> trying to destroy yeah, they, they, they had one guy kept ruining it. <laughs> Don't pop them all, dip. <laughs> Uh, this is the opposite of audio insulation, uh, which they initially tried to sell as wallpaper. Then in 1960, they realized their product could be used for protection in packaging. Mm -hmm. And they founded Sealed Air Corporation. Wow. Wow. <clears throat> Very nice. Thank you for the fun fact. Yeah. Guys, for myself, the lovely bombshell right into Highlander. Later. Peace out. What do I say at the end? <laughs> 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 <laughs>